Hey everyone, with the Windy City Invitational coming in hot, Sam Brief here with Chris Nightingale, Chicago State's Interim Director of Cross Country and Track and Field. Coach, mm -hmm. you're getting thrown into the, into the fire. Mm -hmm. We got the Windy City Invitational starting soon on Friday. Uh, what does this mean to you, this opportunity? Uh, this is an, an incredible opportunity. This is a position that I've always wanted to be in. I've never expected it to happen so soon. But, uh, you know, I'm born in Chicago, raised in Chicago. So the success of this, the success of this program is personal to me. So I, I really take it very personal. And I, I'm extremely excited to be here. Being a Chicago guy and hosting an event at Gately, great Chicago mm -hmm. venue with the Chicago State across your chest, uh, titled the Windy City Invitational. There's a lot of Chicago here in Chicago area schools coming in. So when you look at this, what does the Chicago aspect of it mean? And s people don't realize how beneficial Gately is to us. Uh, in the city of Chicago, we've never had a facility like this. And so uh, we can use this at, uh, as a recruiting tool. We can bring recruits out. Uh, we can bring local friends and family out. So we're really, really expecting to get this place packed and uh, get it loud, you know, have some, some, some really raucous crowd, you know, some really good energy out about uh, not only Gately, but the Chicago State Track and Field program. I know you're heading out to practice in a few minutes and you're going to keep getting a better idea of who's going to be running and, and, and the different events. Uh, but why don't you give the Cougar fans a little bit of an idea as to who some of those top performers they should look out to are? Oh, so this season we have a really good team. Uh, so we actually have on the women's side, we have uh, our school record holder, Tiffany Mack. She opted out of the COVID year and she's returning this year and she's looking very strong, looking very focused and determined, uh, really to improve on her school record mark. We have uh, a highly, some uh, highly touted uh, freshman class. We have uh, Miana Harden. She's a, a freshman who's in her high school year. She's already run close to our school records. So our, our women's side is looking very strong. Our men's side is looking very young and poised. We have some uh, really good talent in. Uh, we just just a lot of unproven guys on the men's side. You know, you had the, the COVID year last year, a lot of guys, I mean, the, the team didn't run indoor at all. So uh, we have a full year of training this year. You know, uh, everyone's focused and, and just really pushing each other. So. So we're, we're really focused and ready to go. Focused, young, poised. In a lot of ways, we don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes it even more fun. Why don't you tell me, when you look big picture, what the identity of your team, and you, you can divide it up, men's versus women's, or, or the whole shebang together. What do you see as the identity of this group? So the identity of us as a whole, men and women, is effort. Uh, we want to give high effort every day and our teammates push each other to give high effort. So effort is our, our number one identity. I would say on the on the men's side, our, uh, we kind of have, we, we're more sprint heavy, short sprint heavy. So we, we're going to have some, you know, fast, short sprinters. Uh, on the women's side, we have more of a complete team. We have some really talented jumpers, uh, really talented uh, triple jumpers. We have a talented high jumper. Uh, so our women's side is a little bit more well-rounded. So. Uh, you know, more of that complete package on the women's side and more just, you know, short speed on the men's side. I've asked a bunch of Chicago State coaches this. Mm -hmm. I got to hit you with the same thing. It's like it's like you're christening for crying out loud. Tell me if you had to pick a type of food to mm -hmm. describe your team with, what food would you choose? Make me hungry. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I would say, uh, hmm, you know what, you know, being in Chicago, I would go with uh, we are a deep dish pizza, but I would say that we are a, a uncooked deep dish pizza. We have all the ingredients. We're, we're sitting uh, ready to go into the oven. Uh, we have everything we need. We just got to get cooking. We just got to get cooking. I like that. Mm -hmm. And the cooking process really begins on Friday when you yeah. actually get to go out there. Friday we're going to get cooking. Ooh, I like that an uncooked deep dish pizza actually can be even better than a cooked one because with an uncooked pizza, I see potential, right? I can mm -hmm. roast it er, in the oven mm -hmm. low and slow. Mm -hmm. uh, that's nice. Okay, an uncooked deep dish mm -hmm. pizza. And we have our, our that's ingredients awesome. just laying there ready to go. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's Chris Nightingale. I'm Sam Brief, and remember, 
Friday. It's the Windy City Invitational hosted by Chicago State. Coach, appreciate you. Thank you.